Hey guys, welcome back. So, whew, I've got very dramatic eye makeup on. Um, I have not finished my makeup, I'm going to be doing it in this video. As we go through, oh my hair is so messy. So, what I'm doing today is going through the KKW Conceal, Bake and Brighten products that she's just launched. So Kim Kardashian West is very well known for her really bright under eye sculpted look and she achieves that with baking. I'm not great at baking and I've tried it numerous times but have never found that it's something that you know I want to keep in my regular routine. And so it was really cool for her to release this three step process for people to be able to achieve her signature under eye look. And this is it. So this is the press kit. This is obviously not what people get when they buy her product. So we have the top we have the liquid under eye concealer and then we've got a base powder and then we have a brightening powder below. If you look over here guys she has some brushes. This one's for baking and the other one over there is for the brightening powder and they feel really nice. <coughs> These are the light shades and as you can see there's not a lot of visible difference but they're different undertones. So we've got very light with warm undertones Fair light with warm undertones, fair light with cool undertones, and light with cool undertones. These are the medium shades. This one's light medium with warm undertones, medium with warm undertones, medium with cool undertones, and deep medium with warm undertones. And then these are the dark ones. We have this one's light tan with warm undertones, tan with cool undertones, tan with warm undertones, and deep tan with warm undertones. Here are the deep dark colors. This one's dark with cool undertones, deep dark with warm undertones, deep dark with cool undertones, rich dark with cool undertones. Kim Kardashian West uploaded this tutorial on how to use the three-step products. This model is using the shade 16, so I'm just watching how to do it. You just apply the concealer first and then you bake. So now we're going to go ahead and brighten. This is the... Cool. So, Kim says she is shade number seven. That is medium with cool undertones. I think that'll be too dark for me. So I'm probably gonna be in the light range. Just watched the shades on my arm. I'll stand up so you can see. So these are all the shades on my arm. I'm gonna go for one of those first shades actually because I want a really bright look, right? So number three is fair light with cool undertones and I'm going to apply that under my eye. So these concealers claim to be full coverage liquid concealer in ultra creamy hydrating formula perfect for correcting and highlighting. Now Kim has released two brushes. There's three steps. So um, the how to on the press release tells us that this is the one that you use to set under your eyes with the baking powder and then you brush it away with the fluffy side and then you brighten using this brush. So there's no brush um, that I'm told to do with this. So I'm just gonna use my own sponge because that's how I would like to do it normally. This is a real technique sponge. It's blending out pretty easily. Oh, I like it. Good color for me. It blends out really well. Now I do have like a pretty mage pimple there, mage up pimple. It's just not going away. It's really annoying. But it covered it quite well considering it's under eye concealer. I still probably would want to go over with um, my industrial strength concealer just to get rid of it. But I'm not going to do that for the sake of the review. I am going to move on and do my contouring before I bake. This is the medium contour. Okay, the baking powders come in four shades. One, two, three, four. So the number one is translucent, and then they have a translucent pink for the number two. Number three is translucent pale yellow, and bake four is translucent bronze. It's really cool that all the colors bar number one have um, a tint to it because in my Makeup by Ariel Masterclass, he told me that he prefers to bake using something that has a tint to it so that it doesn't flash back really hectic. So they seem really cool to me. I love that they're in a square container. I just find square containers so much more preferable. It's so much easier to stack it and organize it in my makeup space. 
So I'm gonna take number one, bake, and now is when I get to use the sponge. Now let's talk about these tools compared to the first launch, but I actually really like this tool. A lot of people complain about the sponge, but I actually find good use for it. And I really like this. It's a great size. It's really nice and soft. I can actually do the whole contouring and highlighting with this one tool, which is great. But she seems to have like improved it or changed it for this. The sponge is way more soft. And I don't actually know if it's just because it's bigger, so it's able to be more flexible because this one's quite stumpy and so it's a little bit stiff compared to what most people would be like used to using. But um, this one's bigger and it's actually a lot more flexible. But considering this is meant to be used for just applying the bake, from what I'm reading in this how-to, um, I don't know why it even has to feel like a beauty blender. I'm gonna load some onto the applicator. And press it on. It's really good for that. And it just says you can put as much on as you like. I'm gonna try the number two as well because this color looks really light for me and I'm just intrigued. So this is number two. It's got yellow. Wait, did I touch the right one? <gasps> this is number three. Do, oh, I'll, I'll use number three. It shouldn't matter. It's just to bake. And in my expertise on baking. I'm gonna put some up here. I like the look of this one more. Anyway, we'll see the difference when we swipe it off. This should be a cool experiment. Okay, so that's baking. I know I'm meant to leave it there, so what do I do now? It's probably been three or four minutes. I can probably take it off now, right? So you've got the fluffy side of the brush. It feels really nice. Same material or so it feels as the other one, but a different shape. So you can just flick it away. Oh, I like that yellow one. It definitely had a brightening effect. That was number three. This one. Looks good. Ooh, I prefer the yellow one on me. What do you think? Number three. I really like that effect so far. The powder looks really smooth. It doesn't look cakey under there, but I do have to apply another layer of powder now with the brightening. This is definitely a step that I would not do, especially if I've baked, so this is completely new to me. These are the shades. It comes in a compact, really cute Perspex compact with the shade inside and a mirror. It looks so cool like the packaging is so good so these are the brightening colors this is number one this is number two this one's vanilla with brightening pearls this one's pastel pink with brightening pearls we've got number three and number four this one's pale yellow with brightening pearls and this one's peach with brightening pearls i'm just swatching all of the shades on my fingers for you to see they feel extremely smooth that's how they look one two three four let's get these on my arm That's how they look swatched on my arm. Super smooth, very finely milled, and decent color payoff too. I'll go for number one on my left side. I can see a difference. This brush feels and looks exactly like the Urban Decay one if you've ever tried the Urban Decay one from the Naked palettes. I really like it. This is interesting. Um, it's very thin powder like really thin. It feels like the Laura Mercier one, but pressed. Okay, I'm gonna take the other side, which she says is for using in here. I feel like that's quite a big difference compared to the other side. I do feel like that small brush is a little bit fiddly for me. I prefer something a little bit bigger for under the eye. But at least if you've already gone and done your eye makeup, you can be a little bit more precise. You can see how much brighter that is, right? Wow. Okay. Now I will try the yellow one, number three. You can get a good amount on the brush too. Let's see that. It's making a mark. So these are actually pigmented. gonna add some bronzer to my contour I 
I can definitely see a very dramatic difference in the brightness of under my eyes. Whoa, it feels so silky. <gasps> it's like a little ice skating rink on my face. Okay, let's look up close though. It's hard for me to see past this blemish because it's really big and I can like see that there's like pus under it, which is feral, but it's like moving around in there. It looks really good under there, I can't complain. And I don't like baking, but it doesn't really look like I've done much more than apply a light layer of setting powder. It definitely has not emphasized anything on my face, like the wrinkles under my eye, but I didn't apply it right under there because as you can see, my eyeshadow extends quite low, but I wouldn't bake right under my eye regardless. Anyway, I'm impressed. It'll be very interesting to see how this wears. So tomorrow I'm going to reapply this because it's very late now and we're at for my meet and greet at Priceline and I'll let you guys know at the end of the day how well my concealer wore. So I'm really impressed with how it looks now, but let's come back tomorrow and see what my thoughts are after wearing it throughout the day. All right guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. All right guys, I'm back. I filmed this this morning before my meetup. I'm just gonna do the same routine as yesterday, conceal, bake, and brighten. I'm using shade number three in the concealer and I'm blending it out with the original KKW contour and highlight blending brush. And then I'm using shade number three in the baking powder. I like to use shade number three because it has more of a tint that I think matches me. And um, Makeup by Ariel did say, as I mentioned before, that he prefers something with a tint when baking so it doesn't look too white and white casty. So I'm just doing that and then blending it all away as instructed. But I, of course, wait a few minutes. I just don't show that because I'm sweeting this up. Do you know what I mean, Jelly Bean? And then to brighten, I'm using shade three once again because I really like the yellow undertone to this one. So I've got my meet and greet today, which means I'm gonna be hugging lots of people, kissing lots of people on the cheek, you know, touching my face. So it's gonna be really a good test of this product. It is 8.20 something in the morning and I'll be back later this afternoon. Hey guys! Okay, I'm back. Well, my hair is significantly more flat. Anyway, I'm back to tell you how the product performed. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Amazing. It's still so flawless in the areas that I applied the baking. The areas that I did not apply the product have worn off, especially around my hairline here. I, of course, probably do touch that a little bit more than the rest of my face, but even areas like the side of my nose, down here on my jaw. It's coming off, even on the corners of my mouth. My lipstick's well and truly off, of course. Oh, even around here has come off. So I'm really amazed at how flawless my skin still looks. There's a tiny amount of transfer onto my fingers when I press it. It's still radiant in these areas because of the pearls in the brightening powder, but the finish has not changed. It hasn't gotten oily. As for creasing under my eyes, it didn't crease any more than my natural under eye creases. In fact, it looks pretty smooth under there. And even though I can still see that pimple, the product has not moved from over the top. It must be that this product works, I guess. My skin does not look cakey whatsoever. Let me come close. Might have to lower the brightness if I come closer. Can you see? look cakey whatsoever even though I literally have foundation the concealer the bake the brightening powder I didn't highlight but the brightening powder actually has slightly highlighting properties as you can see when I move my face it has a beautiful glowy quality safe to say I'm very impressed what time is it now 4 15 p.m. I wore it for over seven hours and it has no signs of slowing down yeah I'm so bloody impressed and especially because there are other areas of my face that I did conceal with my high strength concealer, but it came off throughout the day. The only concealer that didn't move 
was the one that I used KKW's three-step process. So I'm really impressed. <laughs> really impressed. And it just did an amazing job. I've never been a bake girl, but I'm definitely down for baking now. I'm Martha Stewart from now on, baby. Last thing I'm gonna do, aside from recommend this, because I really do like the product, is I bought a wig a while ago that actually looks exactly like that, and I wanna put it on. <laughs> oh, it's right here. Wait, I actually wore it in a tutorial once. I think she's blonde in that picture, but I don't have a blonde one. Oh, bugger, she's blonde in it. Actually, it is kind of gray. It's like a platinum blonde. I bought this just at a beauty supply store in Toronto because I don't think the beauty supply stores here in Australia have very good ones. Do I look like... <laughs> She's got one behind the ear there, but that's gonna give it away. Oh, I literally can't do that. Okay, I literally can't do that. This wig is too cheap. Exactly the same, right? <laughs> so guys, to end this video, I really rate the Conceal, Bake and Brighten kit or the products um, and the formulas actually apparently help to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, improve the hydration of your skin, improve skin smoothness and even over time can help make your skin appear firmer and more elastic. So I quite like that if it's a product that you're going to be putting on to help conceal like aging and darkness and stuff, the fact that it's doing good stuff for your skin is obviously important. The pricing I think is, I think it's good. So the bundles are $80 and that gets you a concealer, a baking powder, a brightening powder, and the brushes. It's really good. And then if you wanna buy the concealers individually, $18, everything's $18 each. Liquid concealers, $18 each. Brightening powder, $18 each. Baking powder, $18 each. And the brushes are $18 each. God, I think that's an amazing price. I will definitely be waiting out for reviews from Deeper Skin Girls to hear what their thoughts are on the shade range. She did do a video on a dark skin model using this concealer and it worked great on her and she was quite a deep skin tone. So I would love to see what people think, but I actually think considering this is meant to be a brightening, like you saw the color of concealer I used for my skin tone. Like I'm NC35 at the moment and I used the third lightest concealer. So it will be interesting to see what people think. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my upcoming videos. Love you all so much. Bye.